Before I share with you uh, MIDI files you can use on your uh, on your tracks, let's see how we export MIDI files because I can take what is here and export this uh, content. Export MIDI clip. I will save it on the desktop. You can see it automatically takes name of track. I will click save and I will check my desktop now. Yes, it's here and if I right click on it I will go to properties. Now what I can see it's, its extension is .mid, it means it's MIDI file. What I can do, I can just drag and drop here and you can see that it will also play now. So this concept is extremely important. It's, it's extremely important for you to understand that I can take any MIDI file and place it here. Then I can select any of those uh, sets and I can, I can create music. So let's say that I want to use this here, but I want to use different, uh, different kit. And I will take, let's say, maybe this one. Yes. And this is also very important for you to understand. At this moment, I have a MIDI file here. MIDI track is here loaded with this, uh, with this pattern. But let's listen to this now. Luckily, uh, the setup for this kit is very similar to um, to what we have here. But if we change, let's say now the drum set for I don't know maybe this one. Let's see what happens now. So it's very easy. Uh, once you have a MIDI here, you can always change the kit. So let's play it now. And now it's, it's, it's something really important to understand. What we need to see here is that we have kick in the same place. Here we have tom floor, but here we have crush to special. Uh, what we need to do, we need to place it in a, in a correct uh, slot. So we need to search for snare and snare special. So let's go down. Okay. And instead of crash, which generally is not used in this way, we need to go and search for high. Okay. Now let's listen. Also, it's not something, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, this is not the best sound ever, but you get the concept, like how you can adjust MIDI to the set you've selected. It's really important, like I said, with drums to understand the names of those, uh, you know, instruments or those small instruments in the drum set. It's really, really critical. So you can do this with anything you want. So let's say that you want to take this and uh, change it to, I don't know, to write. Let's listen now. And this is what generally happens in uh, some, uh, some songs that uh, when you have chorus, you will play, play on hi-hat. When you have uh, verse, uh, sorry, you, when you have verse, you will play on hi -hat, play on hi-hat. When you have chorus, you will play on Right, and this makes the difference. So this is really important. You can use anything what you have here, but still, you need to be somehow able to explain why you use this sound. And in overall, when you listen to the song, it needs to make any sense. So it's it's really really important. So now, I can take any anything here. I can right click and export this, and you will see files uh, to um, you know to download here. Uh, you can download them or you what you can do you, do, you don't need to download them you can just uh, use your mouse and you can place notes in the same places here 